They're all big games in Skybet League 2, but just how big is this one, bearing in mind they're your promotion rivals? Well, it also puts, always puts a, an edge to it when you're playing something in around you. It's never determining, of course. You know, if you look at Swindon lost in midweek at Atkinson, and if we'd have been playing and, and win, there would be a six-point swing. So it, it doesn't really determine it. Listen, it, it's not about what Swindon do in the season that will affect Mansfield Town, apart from the twice we play them and they've already dealt with us once. It'll be about what we do and what our players do. We're in, we're in good shape. We've got competition. The lads are extremely fit. The spirit in the camp is fantastic. But that doesn't allow you to win games. Performances allow you to win games. So I'm, I'm going to have to be standing here at, at full time and saying, if not nine or ten of my players have played at the top of the game, to come and get a positive result with Swindon. And if, if we've added to our points tally today, given how difficult this fixture is and given their form now in League Two, at the start of the season it wasn't so good here, but now it's outstanding. So this is a tough game. Yeah, therefore, we all know you want to win, but would you take a point here? I wouldn't take it now because the nature of um, this management team and the nature of that dressing room, more importantly, is that we want to win every game that we're competing. And, um, but, you know, if, if it was a point gain, uh, gained, I think it would be a point gained on the coach going home. If it was three, it would be super. It's an unchanged 11 and 18, you, if you include the subs. Were you tempted to freshen it up? I think you're always tempted when you see what the likes of Miller produced in the closed door game. And, you know, and you and you look at young Kingy and Penny, they've added something to us, and Sterling James has been electric for a week. And we, we looked at the start and all of it, and we looked at the bench, Steve, and we, we had to conclude that, that then, yes, people deserve to go in, those people deserve to come out, and that's what we did break it down to. And myself and Paul thought, no, we thought we did enough in large, large spells of the game last week to say those guys should be given the shots again here at Swindon. But we, we know competition is fierce. Will it change over the next week? Absolutely. Will this team be in situ on Tuesday and Saturday? No. Why? Because we know some of our players can't do three tough games like that in a week. Physically, they just can't do it. We, they want to do it. We want them to do it, but they're just it's not in their mechanism. So as a minimum, there'll be those changes. And there's always form and periods and games and, and opposition to take into account that you see why you change it. So we're going to use our squad in the next week. And this match comes too soon for both Xander Diamond and Jacob Mallis. Yeah, Jacob trained well yesterday, in fact, very well. But he had one training session with the group. That's never enough unless it's a unless it's we're short of bodies to put him in. But Jacob will be back on the he's been back on the training ground this morning and back at home and told to train very well again. So Jacob will be, I'll be back with the group. We're in tomorrow because we play on Tuesday, and he'll be back with the group tomorrow. And then we'll we'll see Zander. Zander's not going to be back with the group till Monday, Tuesday maybe. If it's if Monday, Tuesday, that probably suggests it'll be Saturday uh, next week before he's available.